In this video, we're going to look at some of the uh, terminology, some of the words you might encounter whenever you're dealing with group data. So here we've got two different tables. One's for time taken, and we've got the time is big than, bigger than zero, but less than or equal to 10. The time is bigger than 10, but less than or equal to 20. The time is bigger than 20, but less than or equal to 30, and so on. And we've got another table here where we've got length five to nine, 10 to 15, 16 to 21, and so on. So we've got two different tables here. And what I'm gonna do is I might sort of, in some questions, talk about them in one go, or in some other bits, talk about them in separately. So first of all, the first term you might encounter whenever dealing with group data might be the word class or interval, or even group. And here we've got our first table. So the first class, well, that's the first row here. Well, not the headers, but the first row beneath it, which will, is not to 10, okay? So this is the first class. And it's the first group of information that's saying the time is bigger than zero, but less than or equal to 10. The next class would be 10 to 20. This is the next class, this is the next class, and this is the last class. So there are all the classes or intervals. Likewise for this table, the first class would be five to nine, the next class 10 to 15, and so on and so on. So each one of these is a class or an interval, okay? Next, lower, uh, sorry, class boundaries. So class boundaries, so you've got a lower boundary and an upper boundary, okay? Now, depending on the type of the t uh, type of table that you've been given will depend on how you have to deal with those boundaries. So um, in this table here, this is a table that you might have encountered a lot at GCSE level, and that's where the, the classes touch each other. What I mean by that is where you've got time is bigger than zero, but less than or equal to 10, and the next one then says the time is bigger than 10, but less than or equal to 20. The next one, time is bigger than 20. So each one, each number here and here, they touch each other. So whenever you're dealing with one of these classes, let's just choose this one. If you want to know what the lower boundary is, the lower boundary, that quite simply would be 20. And the upper boundary? Well, that would be equal to 30. And that's because we're dealing with uh, classes here that touch each other, okay? You deal with this in a slightly different way. If the if this number uh, 20 differs to this number here, then you deal with it in a different way. And I'm gonna show you now how you would deal with that. So here we've got our next table, okay? So an example of a table where the classes don't touch. So here we've got five to nine. The next one then says 10 to 15, 16 to 21, okay? Now if I chose this one in the middle again, okay? And I wanted the lower boundary, lower boundary, Well, because we've got 16 here and then the number beneath it is 15, so the, the higher number or the, the largest number in the class below is 15, in the middle of that will be the class boundary. So in between this 15 and 16 is the class boundary. So that would be equal to 15.5. Uh, and our upper boundary, Again, we've got the uh, the highest number here is 21, but the next number of the next class is 22. So the boundary, the upper boundary for this uh, class would be 21.5. So what we're doing is we're finding the midpoint of the upper value here and the lowest value of the next class. And likewise for the lower boundary, we're looking at the midpoint of this value here and then the highest value of the class below and so on, okay? Next, midpoints. To find the midpoint of a class, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the lower bound plus the upper bound and divide it by two, okay? Now for this table, it's quite easy. For instance, again, if I choose the middle one here, 20, 30, well, because it's touching this table, the lower bound is 20, upper bound is 30. So we add them together, that's gonna to be 50, divided by two would be equal to 25. So that would be the midpoint of this uh, class. However, whenever you're dealing with uh, the tables that don't touch each other, what you've got to do is again think of if we were dealing with this class, it's going to be the lower bound. Now because it's 16 and the one below is 15, the lower bound is going to be 15.5 plus. And then because the value here is 21 and then the next uh, value of the next class is 22, the upper bound would be 21.5 and then we're going to divide that by two. And then whenever we add those together, what we're going to get is we're going to get 15.5 plus 21.5 and we get that's equal to 37 and then divide that by two, well that's gonna be 37 divided by two is equal to 18.5. So that's how you find the midpoint of um, tables where the values in each class don't touch the next one, okay? And finally, class widths. Class widths are equal to the upper bound, take away the lower bound. 
So again, for instance, if I wanted to find the class width of this class here, it's quite easy again because they're touching each other. We just do the upper bound, 30, take away the lower bound, 20, and that's equal to 10. And again, we've got to be very careful whenever dealing with classes that don't touch each other. So like this table, so if we deal with this middle one, uh, because we've got 16 to 21, because the class below is 15 is the highest value, that means the lower bound is going to be equal to 15.5. And we're going to take that away from the upper bound. Well, because we've got 21 and 22, that's going to be 21.5. And we take those away from each other, and we're going to get that's equal to 6. Now, a lot of people make mistakes on that because they just look at the values in the table and go, well, 21 take away 16 is equal to 5. But no, because, for instance, 15.9 would go into this, uh, still go into this class. 21.3 would still go into that class. So the class width here is 21.5. Uh, take away the 15.5, and that would give us the class width for this group or this class or interval of 6.